in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. Hello there everyone, it has been actually a few days since I've recorded anything for the Wild West. I spent like a day editing, and then another day still just getting the skills up more, because they still weren't there. It takes so long to do farming on this account at the minute, but I have 36 farming, I have 38 herb law, and last night before I went to bed, I made my very first prayer potions. A whole 10 of them. I can't make an infinite amount of these because the snape grass, the only way I have to get snape grass is the spawn, which is in the same house where the gold bar spawn is and you have to telegrab it. You can't just pick it up. So I don't have that many lore runes. I got 14, I think, and did like one invent. Where are my runes? Yes, yeah, so I've only got 22 lore runes left. Did manage to get some rune drops just random from random events here and there, so... The nature runes have gone up to 82, which isn't a massive amount, but it's better than it was just over time passively. And my thieving level is all the way up to 60, y'all. I got to 50 very quickly on the master farmers, and I've had to do a bunch more master farmers, but the vast majority of that was done on the wealthy citizens right here in Valamore. And let me tell you, I have got rich for the trouble. 123k in the pocket. And this is all from not actively doing it, just standing in the middle of the bazaar, AFK, while I was doing my editing on the previous video, and whenever it made the little sound effect noise of an urchin distracting somebody, I clicked the person. Let it all loot. That was it. So like once a minute when that happens on the timer, I click. And that got me 123k and 10 thieving levels. And all of these keys, these house keys, which we can use to burgle people even further, and we could get some absolute goodies in there. Let me tell you, I haven't had a look at the list of potential jewellery, but they can have jewellery. So we could score something that we can't craft yet or get otherwise, but we could enchant maybe. I guess we only have level 2 enchant, but magic levels are easier to get than crafting levels. We can get to 49 magic much easier than we can get to 49 crafting. And 57 for enchant diamond. Yeah, so I'm gonna go do these house keys before anything else, and then finish off Mistelin basically with the three bosses. I feel pretty confident that now with my 50 attack, 60 strength, and my 43 prayer with all the protection prayers and prayer pots, Feeling pretty confident about being able to take down all three of the bosses in this region. In Mistlin even, not this region. But before I do, I want to see if I can get a nice upgrade out of one of these perchance. So we're going to go do that. Yeah, I don't think I need anything with me for this. You just hit the keys. I guess I could take some energy potions because I have those now. Yeah, this is an example of someone being distracted. You just let your character do the work for a little bit. Obviously, I didn't catch that for the full length, but I usually get around 15 pickpockets on average, and they're worth 85 GP each, plus you have the chance to get these keys. You can also get clues, and I have a couple of clues banked, because, yeah, I didn't get around to doing them off cam. I didn't really want to do them off cam, in case they turned out to be something cool. Plus, it just feels weird doing clues off cam, because it's like, how am I verifying that it was in my zones? Is that mine? Is that my emerald necklace? Why did it drop on the floor? Did you drop that? Okay, so the emerald necklace wasn't mine. Somebody else dropped that. I think I'm gonna hop to another world because he's dropping things. I don't wanna... I wasn't sure. I felt like it, it might have just dropped from here instead because I've not done this many times, but I'll go to a less busy world and try it. 
doesn't appear to be anybody home in this house at the minute. I did get a regular gold ring, but not worth much, of course. Can sell it to a general store for a little bit of extra GP, but at this point, we're kind of good for GP. 120k in the bag, and we'll get tons more out of all the valuables that we collect from this. Right, so something I'm going to do as well is tag the NPCs that live in their respective houses, just so I can see personally when they're coming, rather than relying on the kid. Just gonna grab a couple of energy potions while I'm passing as well. Okay, so that guy's at home. This is empty, I think. Other than a nymph. <laughs> oh, I did get some more crafting levels as well along the way, just because I had to make so many vials to do the herbal training. I ended up getting up to 41 crafting, which isn't a bad improvement. Can't remember if there's anything else I got up. Maybe a tiny bit of fishing, I'm not sure. I think everything else is pretty much where I left it. A couple of hit points levels, I'm sure too. Got a sapphire ring. First, like, actual enchantable item. Where's the window in this house? I'm going to tag the windows as well. So I know where my escape route is when... Okay, there's another one down. I've just looked up the potential stuff here and they are a low value but it does go all the way up to diamond amulets i'm very excited about this now we could potentially score some epic epic upgrades here okay that person's in so it must be the other person who's out Got them tagged now as well yeah it's like a one in two thousand chance for a diamond amulet a sapphire ring is actually a one in three thousand that's crazy the amulets are easier to get than the rings see you later Caius. Ooh, we just got our first blessed bone statuette. Roughly a 1 in 520 drop can break those down for, I think, 125 bone shards. Big bone's worth 12 for reference, so about 10 big bone's worth. Oh, I totally was, like, blanking on the fact that this is also getting me thieving XP. Not bad at all, we're getting 65k an hour right now. I was like, well, at least my money's gonna go up, but... Yeah, we're actually getting thieving XP as well. I feel like thieving's gonna be a really useful skill on our account in particular. Because of those chests in the rogue's castle in Deep Wilderness. They're like, there's a lot of really valuable, useful things in there for an Iron Man. Always nice to stay in character. Ooh, a ruby necklace. One thing we can enchant. Technically, we could unlock the enchant for it. You get it after the dig site quest by cleaning finds in the museum, which is something we could do. We've done dig site. Wouldn't be too much use for a dig site pendant for us, but it might be useful in, like, some niche scenarios where we want to go up to the lumberyard or something, or any clue steps over there, things like that. Of course, one of them isn't going to go very far, but there's another blessed bun statue. I think the necklace is, like, the rarest thing, if I remember right. Oh no, that's one in one two fifty. The diamond necklace is the rarest, and the diamond ring, and all the other rings are equally rare at one in three thousand. Very strange. Has sixty one thieving. I'm just gonna chill here for a while and do a whole bunch of keys. If I get something interesting, then I might stop and go do the bosses. But I'm pretty content to just chill here. XP rate is still going up too. It's over seventy k now. These are worth fifty five GP each. So a thousand of them is 55k. This is the ninth house key I'm on now. Ooh, we got a mysterious old man, Maze. Sure, why not? Well, that felt rapid, 77%. Mm, kind of garbage. 46 coals, not bad. We still have a massive supply of it, so it's nice at this point. Ooh, an emerald net amulet. Oh, we do already have a defense amulet. Getting closer though. Getting closer to the ruby amulet, which would be the next available upgrade with five more magic levels. I wouldn't be mad to see a diamond one either. It would be worth leveling up my magic to 57 to be able to have an amulet of power. That would be a huge upgrade for all three styles. Or to be fair, two styles, because I would probably use the strength army still if I have one. Right, this is the 15th house, and as much as I wanted to show any potentially exciting jewellery drops, this is definitely more of an AFK off-cam activity. I'm barely playing the game right now, and I kind of want to play the game right now. So after this one, I'm going to call it, turn in the valuables for probably about 60, 65k, and then go and work on the bosses starting with Scurrius. I think we should be able to take him pretty comfortably now with the upgrades we've made to our levels. And I can also go ahead and get the rune plate legs from the Champions Guild because we have the money for them now. 
Outside of these boss fights though, I do want to start focusing on magic more next to get up higher levels for things like enchanting different pieces of jewellery and also for high level alchemy so that I can like make turn things into money more easily than selling them to shops. It's also a good way to get magic levels from 55 onwards, high alchemy. Oh, I wonder if we can just get this level before he comes back, it might be a bit too much to ask. Nah, I had to call it just before the level. Alright, let's see how much cash we get out of this. 15 house keys turns into 1262 valuables, which, if we talk to the right person... 69k! Oh, so close to 69420, if only. And about 3000 prayer XP in those statues. And some random bits of jewellery as well. I'm gonna go for a smoke before I take on Scurrious. In fact, why don't we just go to the Champions Guild first, look at that, 193k. Let's head on over there and buy ourselves an upgrade. Very expensive, but I think it's worth it. I'm kind of tempted to get the Longsword as well, I feel like Slash is better than Crush against most NPCs in this game. And I don't know that we're going to get a Sim anytime soon, because we need Fire Giants, which won't be till Corrin, so... I think it's just worth the investment. We've got money, we can get money easily whenever I need it. I can just AFK at the, uh, well, at the houses, I guess. Yeah, a couple more upgrades there. Starting to look like an absolute machine. What it's worth, I'm also undecided on Dragon Slayer now. I said I wasn't going to do it at all, but I'm kind of, like, torn. So if you have any strong opinions, let me know. I'm, I'm not going to do it anytime soon, that much is for sure. All I'm saying is, if I was a giant mutant rat king, I'd be pretty scared right now. Maybe the mace was better here though, because you made the bone mace, don't you? Maybe crush is better against Scurrius. That was kind of dumb of me. Alright, here goes take number two. Are our Perez set up correctly? They are indeed. Much more awake this time as well than previous time. Oh dear. If he says and then immediately gets hit. Okay, I'm not even going to bother flicking. I'm just going to... We've got prayer potions now, so I can afford to just leave pretty melee up. Oh, gone in with the rats. We kill five of them. I keep thinking it's one tick. Not having to flick this does make it a lot more chill of an experience than the previous attempt. I can just relax a bit and focus on what he's doing. Nah, no, we're missing a lot. It's slow going here. I have to repot a couple times. Slow and steady at the minute. If I remember from last time, I can eat in this portion. Yeah, that's... Oh, and then immediately take a hit after. Good job. Good job. think I'm being sick and then I'm actually just atrocious. Getting my auto-retaliate off so I didn't accidentally kill off. This was definitely the right play, though. Having just one of these around way easier than six. And having an entire prayer pot to sip on through this entire fight has been able to keep me going and make me make less mistakes and take less damage. Looking like a comfy kill, just gotta ride it out. Oh, we're into the last fit. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. What? He resummoned? I didn't know you could do that. There's seven of them? I guess he only can in the final phase. Just a little bit more. Come on. Oh, these little rats really add up. Yes! We did it! That is one out of three bosses. May as well finish these off for the, uh, the XP that it gives. It's, it'll actually give me an attack level by the looks of things, but I do want to get out of here when Scurrious respawns, so... We'll move on. We used quite a lot of prayer, six doses. It was a long fight. We got a rune square shield. Shit, I only just noticed that we got a rune square shield. That's huge. That's a, that's a straight upgrade for us from the black square shield. Look at that stat difference. Oh my gosh, best in slot shield. Where's the exit? I'm fucking lost in Varrock sewers. What is that? Okay, just the giants to go. Why did I pick up raw rat meat? I'm so dumb. Alright, gonna try Obor first. Just gonna add knee gear. I de-geared. I de-geared because I was trying to sort out my tab. 
Take two, we're off to see her ball. Hoping these fights will go quicker, but I'm also hoping I don't just get clapped. Just gonna be praying against range, because I think he hits harder with range. Yeah, he can still hit 22s with melee, though. That could be painful. Could be painful. A lot of people mage him and snare him, but I thought I'd just try this way. I've never done it with melee before. If it doesn't work, then we can always go farm another key and try it the other method. I'm just going to wait for this to tick down so I have full length on the dose and then head in. Shit. I think I'm going to have to use my offensive prayers here too. Oh, okay. We're going to have to keep our HP high. He is kind of slapping me. Decent damage on him too, though. When we hit. And what I'd give for some Karam ones. Absolutely clobbered. I should have brought more prayer potions. I wasn't planning to use my offensive prayers, but. I feel like we need them here. So we need to get this done as quick as possible. I might have to turn them off at the end if we're running low on Pura. Don't die, he can hit 22s. Please. Come on, just a little bit more. Yes, get in. Oh, we got another key as well. We can even have another go at it when we want to. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna have to sip a prayer potion. I'm nowhere near an altar and I can't go past this. I don't want to go all the way back into Varrock. I'm just gonna send it. The wiki says bring green dehyde for mage defense, but I'm gonna be praying mage, so I don't see the point in that. I'm gonna chuck this entire energy potion before I get there. Annoying thing is, I can't drop my vials. I actually need them so badly at the minute. The very first priority on to get the wilderness isn't going to be anything on the task list. It's going to be getting the levels required for Perilous Moons so we can unlock Canter Rum. Not even to unlock Perilous Moons, but just to unlock Canter Rum. That city is so fucking important for us. Ow. Right, I believe we want to pot and pray before entering. And yeah, four prayer pots this time. Didn't want to take any risks on that. Hopefully they, we don't see too many of the growth lins, because they will slow down the kill a lot. I'm going to try without my offensive prayers a lot. Max is 16, so not too much danger range in this fight. Come on, there's the growth lins. Yeah, this is very slow, and she can just respawn them immediately. Okay. May as well go for the combat task while I'm here. There we go. Almost died in the process, but got it done. Oh, not again. That was so soon. Oh, that was immediately. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. I'm gonna run out of prayer because these fucking growth lens. I'm gonna have to turn it off. Turn off the offensive prayers, which could make this even worse, but I don't have an option here really. I can't flick this, it's too much. Oh no, she's slapping us. Oh, stop spawning them immediately! This is not going well at all. <laughs> no, please stop. Please stop. Okay, we're going to have to full send. Fuck's sake. I don't think we're going to get this. I think we're going to die. I'm going to teleport and I ain't no pussy. No! No! Briar fight are too much for us! Oh! 
Well, I'm going to have to go and find myself another mossy key. And really, other than RNG on the Grofflins, I'm not sure how, what I can do to improve that beyond getting shit tons more levels, which I'm, I'm not going to do. I'm finishing this region tonight. Decided that mentally. But yeah, we'll have to get some more Moss Giant KC now. I'm going to head back to Edgeville. I actually haven't used my Count Drainer on this account, so I'll do that. Wait, did I use my Teleport already on this account? Oh, maybe I did. I didn't think I had. All right, well, I'll Teleport uh, with the Skull Scepter and use Mage. I can do Fire Strike on them. So I may need air runes, but we've got shit tons of money. And yeah, we can get some extra magic levels that way, which will be nice. Well, we may as well just teleport to Varrock, because we need to buy runes anyway. Could afford some firebolts, but it's like 10k for 100. I don't know if it's worth it. Let me get my air runes sorted first. Yeah, honestly, I think I'm just going to stick with the burst. It's fine. The str fire strike even. It's fine. Got 5,000 casts here, so I can literally go forever. Time to go hit some moss giants. Two hours later. Well, I'm thinking I might turn off the camera for a night because I'm just waiting for a drop now and it could take hours. I don't know. I could keep grinding for a bit till I'm too tired, but I, unfortunately, I don't think I am going to get to the wilderness tonight. It is what it is. We'll get there eventually. Hopefully, we do actually kill her on the next attempt. Probably try taking ranged with me too. And like try it out and if it if it's no good then I'll melee but yeah obviously I'll do her on cam. Yeah, I'm starting to get tired and no sign of a key yet. It just been recording for three hours. Not well, almost four hours now. And most of it is just me killing moss giants. So I feel like I should stop the recording and just carry on off cam. See you whenever I have a key. Fucking ten minutes after I turn off the fucking camera. I got one of the giants, I just decided to come back here for the rest of my night while I was chilling, and I got a ruby amulet. Well, we're almost high enough level to enchant it now. 48 magic, just one more level needed. Get on that tomorrow. Hey folks, it is the next evening, I haven't had very much time at all to play, I've been busy editing RuneScape party, so progress on this is going to be a bit slow for the next few days while I'm working on that, but I did manage to get a mossy key on some moss giants, which is why I was just at Sand Crabs AFK in for a little while when I had to take care of some other stuff. But yes, we got a few seeds from killing those and did also get this ruby amulet, which I now have the level to enchant. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Let's get ourselves an amulet of strength for our next Briar Fighter attempt. We need fire runes, I did not equip that. There we are, the Amulet of Strength, folks. We are minus 4 accuracy, but plus 10 strength should make our max hits far better. I think we're feeling pretty good about this fight now. I got an extra 4 attack levels there as well, so the accuracy is higher than it was previously. All in all, feeling confident about going back into this, although my prayer pot situation is not hot, is it? Oh, I think I'm going to have to go get some more. I've got Renar, got plenty of Renar. I don't have that many lore runes, but I'll have to use some of them because we don't have enough prayer. I want to take tons because I don't want to run out. We got lobsters too. Yeah, we've got a few lobsters for now. I only just left Valamor, but so yeah, it's this spawn. Takes about the same time to respawn as it does to hop worlds from what I remember. It's pretty quick, so we'll see. Yeah, it's pretty quick there, like 10 seconds maybe, maybe 15. Probably slightly quicker to hop, but then you have to like change tabs and shit and I can't be bothered. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is our best way to get snake grass all the way until Zaya, so prayer potions are going to be in short supply because we don't really want to do too much farm until Zaya either. So it's not like we're going to get up to that level for the snake grass seeds. That being said, if we are doing wilderness content, we won't need prayer pots because we'll be able to take blighted super restores that we can get from points from last man standing, which I am planning to do quite a lot of. One of my tasks is to win a game and fuck knows how long that'll take me to do, so I'm gonna have to play a lot. But also there is tons of stuff in that shop that we want. Rune arrows, a rune pouch, blighted food and supers so that we can do content in the wilderness more easily. 
we will be spending an awful lot of time in LMS. But that's cool because it will teach me to be a better PK so that I have a better chance of surviving when I am in the wilderness. So doing plenty of LMS, not a bad thing for this account. In fact, I will get into some LMS games tonight if we can get Briar Fighter down. Just gonna get 14 snape grass here. Fingers crossed we get some better luck on the growthlings, not respawning instantaneously, but they do tend to do that a lot, so not too confident. Okay, I'm just going to go to Varok Bank to make them, because it'll be closer to the sewer entrance for getting to Dry Fire. Kind of pointless going all the way over to Edgeville to go down when we're already near to this one. And we'll have a slash weapon on us anyway with the sword. I'm not going to bother with ranged, it's going to be terrible. I don't have a good ranged weapon, I don't have a good ranged gear, I'd have to buy arrows, which would be adamant at best. I've got 44 ranged, which is puny. I don't have range pots. So I've just decided it's pointless. There's no point trying it. We would take less damage, yeah, but we ain't no pussy. Do we need a lick of water? Cool, looking much more healthy now. We want an attack and a strength potion. We want an anti-poison. We might want an energy just to get there. I'm going to take six of these because I just want to have a shit ton so I can use my offensive prayers because it could go along as well. Take the mossy key, we need an axe. I take the bronze one because then I can just have my bronze one set to use rather than wield and my other axes can stay on wield, so it just makes sense to me. Hopefully the extra max hit will take care of the uh, growthlings quicker as well. And then we just go lobsters for the rest. Doesn't seem like a lot of food, but I think it's about the best we can manage here. Fingers crossed we get this down, because I don't want to have to farm moss giants again, but I might have to. Since the last time, we are going in with four extra attack levels, one amulet of strength instead of the amulet of accuracy, and two extra prayer pots. That's about it. I should have recharged my prayer before coming down here. Not too much upgrades, but some upgrades. Hopefully it'll be enough. I'm more hoping that the RNG is a little better, because I felt like it was rough on me last time. I'm going to be out of energy by the time I get there, even with that energy pot. There's just no need. There's there's just no need, lads. Come on. A loop half of key. That's useless. Right, here we go. I don't want my auto one, do I? Yes. Yes, I understand. Okay, nice big hits. Good start. Rest running rapid, but we've already halved it. Holy shit. Yeah, keep this coming. Okay, Grufflins. Now, if I step away, then she just mages me. I just have to be good with the timing, which I'm not that good at. Almost there. Ooh. Yes, we got her. That is Mistelin's task list completed. Whew. I'm so glad we got that done. I did not want to have to farm fucking moss giants again. Two combat tasks there as well. Not too terrible. Not too terrible. Fucks. We can finally go to the fucking wilderness. I should have brought my dueling ring. I could have teleported straight there. Dumbass is walking out of the fucking... I could have gone that way as well to Edgeville. That would have made more sense. Oh my gosh, y'all. Finally. It took so long. So much grinding in this region that I wasn't expecting with all the farming and the herb lore and the, the keys and just there were a lot of grinds that when we came into it and we already had one task crossed off the list i was like damn we're gonna smash through these but yeah that turned out to be a lot longer region than i expected even though it's probably still just like two episodes or something right three episodes maybe in mislin yeah it's like the same as the first region isn't it oh what am i even doing why am i walking i can use this now this teleport that i've never been able to use on this account and the fucking portal that I've never been able to use on the account that I now can, which resets my health, my prayer, my run. This is absolutely huge. We've got access to dueling rings. No more do we have to run to altars and eat strawberries at the bank like a pauper, which is what I've been doing, y'all. We're in the wild! Woody wild in the wildy woods! I think I'm just gonna go straight into an LMS game. That's what I wanna do. Get this show on the road. 
And jamming LMS games is basically how I spent my next 6 to 8 hours of game time over the next couple of days. I did record everything in case I got a win as that would have checked off the first of our wilderness tasks. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this as a start of our LMS journey. I didn't do amazing, but I didn't do terrible either, and I ranked highly in a few matches. Instead of trying to edit the mass of repetitive footage and cut it into something that even slightly resembles watchable content, I decided I'd just go ahead and show you my best game so far, and from here on out, I'll be recording every game just in case it's a win, but you'll only see it when that does finally happen. Until then though, here is probably the best performance I've had in a game of LMS today on this account.
Another second place. Oh! 68. I'm getting that room pouch tonight. I need a smuggler. Oh, and there it is, folks. 75. I can buy myself a room pouch. God damn. That was so quick. Compared to what I was expecting, not compared to how it actually was. I'll say how many games it was in a minute when we check the uh, thing. But yeah, we got ourselves a room pouch so early on our account. Really nice to have. We've played 48 games, 51 kills, so the KDA is improving ever so slightly. It's better than 1.0 now. It is higher than that. Only just, but it's slightly improving, you know. The rank's going up a tiny bit. I think for now... I don't know if I want to carry on for now or leave it till a bit later when we come back to try and get the win. It would be nice to have some rune arrows. I think I might just play another few more games just to get some general supplies and then call it that for now. Some rune arrows, maybe some blighted food so I can get my overwieldy tasks done more easily. That sort of thing. Well, now I've drained my KDA down to a minus one rate, I think I might just stop. Let's give us all some rune. I don't, do we even have anything that could fire rune arrows? A U long, a U bow. I can't get a U bow. Not easily. I might have to start doing some wood cutting and fletching on an AFK time. I was planning on just getting a rune crossbow, to be honest, from Crazy Archaeologist. Maybe I shouldn't get rune stuff, because I can't actually fire it yet. I feel like just getting an assortment of food is not a bad idea. Just getting supplies. And I think I'll just keep... Uh, yeah, I'll just keep my last point for now. That gives me some things to work with whenever I do go out into the actual wilderness. And then we have the rune pouch as well, a fantastic upgrade, honestly. It's as good as it ever gets as well, we can never get a divine one, because we don't have the desert. So that's as, as good as it gets for us on the rune pouch front. We've had some really strong upgrades in this episode come through, other than to, other than to rage, maybe. Well, I think that's me done for the night. It was a very productive session. Well, okay, folks, it's, I think, two days since I recorded. I've done a bit of AFK fletching and woodcutting, and I'm having a bit of a problem because using a steel axe is not that hot on willow trees. Even on oak trees, it was pretty bad, to be honest. So I would like to upgrade, and what's better to upgrade than a rune axe? Where the hell do we get a rune axe, I hear you ask? Well, there is a great spot that I will be heading to in just a little while to try and achieve that goal. But first, I want to pick myself up a looting bag. And I figured while I'm just going into the shallow wilderness to get a looting bag, I may as well start progressing the Enter the Abyss quest, which is an auto-pop. I'm probably also going to knock out Goblin Diplomacy during this little section. I've already got a lot of footage for this episode. But I think most of it is LMS games that probably get cut, so it's not that bad. Am I better off just air casting? Oh, that guy can't attack me, I'm fine. Did I really just get that? Was that my drop? I don't think that was my drop, was it? I'm not on a task. That's him. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go up to Wads. Rats at the archaeologist. I guess the scorpion's relatively low level. Ugh. No drops so far, I'm gonna find something smaller. Okay, here we go, there's rats in here. I knew there would be. Oh, there we go, got the looting bag. Shall I just send a crazy archaeologist kill? Just see. Pretty sure he's ranged with prey, right? Hopefully it's not mage. Oh, I have no run energy. That was not the best idea. Okay, I'm getting ready to control click to run. I swear if he gives us the fedora, that would be so fucking blessed. This is slow as fuck though, definitely would be wanting to use more than mind drones on this. I just brought the mind drones because I was just planning to kill like random things for it all. That's unfortunate, there goes the combat task. Yeah, I was just planning on killing some rats for a looting bag, I just thought as soon as we made our way all the way over here, we may as well. Just got him below half. My uh, magic setup does leave a lot to be desired to be fair. Not exactly uh, the highest accuracy in this set. Definitely going to want better magic setup before we try and farm the fedora here. But what can we really get? Oh gosh, do we have to try and go for Elder Chaos? Oh well, oh, he mellies. Because we can't get Zerishans till we have Corund, and we won't have that. 
when we're trying to farm the fedora from this guy for our to unlock Orand. The fuck? No way I'm getting PJ by a rat. Ow. Oh my gosh, that was a stressful kill. Didn't get anything for it other than a combat task. I'm just gonna go to Ferox and reset. Guess for the benefit of anybody who didn't know, if you want a reasonably quick and a safe way to get to Edgeville from Ferox, or vice versa, you can go either way with this. You can just go through the Soul Wars portal. Good job, I just realised I was forgetting something. Few too many people hanging around here for my liking, I'm gonna hop. I'm sure some of you have guessed where we're going. I'm sure some of you haven't. I know what the lever does. Ooh, I did not think about an exit strategy. Because we can't go back through that. That will take us to Arty, which is outside of a region. I guess we have to go to Mage Bank. I should have brought an extra energy potion. We're already learning, look at that. Try not to get hit by the hellhounds, that's another thing you can learn from. All the wolves. Gates open, always a terrible sign. So there is a very popular spot for low level accounts, and I am a relatively low level account, but I can be attacked by pretty much fucking anyone here. So that's not great. If I do get caught by a PK, I'm probably just dead. But if I don't get caught by a PK, then we'll hopefully kill lots of lava dragons. And lava dragons have a ton of very handy drops that could be useful for me, either for money or for actual upgrades to my character. And more importantly, they also have that rune axe drop. So I can get the wood queen upgrade that I want to be able to AFK more effectively while I'm editing videos and doing whatever I'm doing. This actually isn't too slow. Now, I brought the water spells because they have a weakness, so 17, not the max hit. Pretty good for some chaos runes. I'm praying as well. Get a 1% magic strength bonus. This guy gonna try and get... No, he's got a trident. Can't tap players with a trident. It is multi-combat here, though. Maybe I shouldn't be at the one right by the entrance. It's just the only one I know a safe spot for. I'm sure there are others, though. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I could have died then. Oh look, a Pika. I think I'll get out of here now. That did not take long to see one. Guess they are fairly common here. I don't know, maybe it's full of bots too. So people farm bots here. Okay, that guy was safe spotting over here, so I'm gonna r risk running past this to be in what I'd consider probably a safer spot, because it's more out of the way. It's harder to attack me here than it is for me to attack me here, so... It's also harder for me to get away, but if I can hop, then I'm not actually in combat, so I can hop at any second right now. It classes me out of combat. Would abandon the kill, obviously, but worth it to escape death. And I did just hop away from a PK, but he hopped instantly. So I'm gonna hop back, finish off that kill. 18 max it without prayer. I doubt it goes up by one with 1%, but I'm feeling the new elemental weaknesses. It does make low level casting so much better. And the changes they made to like all spells of the same tier being the same. Oh, a rune full helm. That's a straight upgrade for us. That replaces the Addy full helm. We had no way to get a rune, like no way to buy one or anything. I'm fairly certain, unless we got one as a drop from somewhere else. Like, I think it'd have to be Scurious. No, we got the rune square from Scurious, so we can class that as an upgrade. Where's the right spot to be here? Is this safe? It is safe. It did not feel safe. Yeah, that's like terrifyingly close, but rune darts too. I mean, I don't know how common they are, but if they stack up, we could use them for range training. It's better than any range weapon I currently have. So I'm planning to do Death of the Dogishin soon so we can get a bone crossbow just as a weapon that we can get ammo for easily. Rune bolts. I'm stand one tile closer. Okay. Just want to know where the exact boundary is. Not sure if that guy just casted on me and I did just kill a lot of dragons. I kind of want to hop back to see if... There's a drop there. I'm pretty sure that was the last hit. Did I not kill it? One more hit. I'm just gonna pick up the drops and hop. Please, please no, please no. Okay, thank you. Oh, he's fighting a boss, I'm fine. I thought he was a PKer. Cause I saw him using the god spells, I assumed he was a PKer. He's actually just doing the quest. I don't have to worry about that guy. 
level 107 is the highest level that can attack me, so I don't have to worry about that guy either. Pretty good way to train magic, this. We're not really risking a great deal either, other than the loot that we've acquired here, which will make some very nice prayer XP if we get it home. There's level 50 magic. Unlock snare. Could be handy to bring some with us, to be fair, for an escape, but... I don't feel like we're there yet, I don't feel like we're at the point of needing to try and escape, because we've, we've got fuck all. Like, realistically, if someone does catch me here, all of this is replaceable. Probably the least replaceable thing is a blue wizard robe, and that's not hard to get. <laughs> Sammy Monk bombs as well. You can get them more easily now, though, because we have Chaos Druids. I'm pretty sure Chaos Druids draw them. But yeah, my looting bag's worth more than I am right now, so... Any point in picking up lava scales because we can't use them for like six million years. So. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna pick up the lava shards. I think they're gonna fill up the bag too quick. Ooh, genie. Very nice. Thanks for the herb law. So there's 39. I thought lava shit scales stacked, but maybe you have to do a diary to get them to stack or something. So I'm actually just gonna get rid of those. By the time we need them, we'll be able to come back here and get them easily enough, so pointless wasting the invent space. What the chances that's a bot? That is 100% a bot. There's no way that's not a bot. If that guy pops back into our end of distance, I'm attacking him, he's got a trident, he can't hit back. He pulls something out, fuck it. That's the one type of person that I am happy killing in the wilderness. Someone who is very, very clearly a bot. He doesn't even have prayer. I think he might have either hopped or left though. Can't see him. Yeah, he's nowhere. Right, I think I'll just kill one more because I'm almost out of room in the invent and bag. I don't really want to like drop this food because it's good food. No rune axe, unfortunately, but did get that rune full and a bunch of superior dragon bones. I guess I'll leave the black dragon hide because we don't have a great use for it at the minute. It would probably actually be safer to just run south and teleport to be honest, but I'm gonna go to Mage Bank. It's a shame I didn't get that axe. It is only a 1 in 64 though, so I only killed 9. That's probably gonna be about the length of my trips though because I do want to bank all these resources. And I don't want to take too many runes with me at once in case I do get caught. 15 fire orbs ain't bad. Right, this is basically the rest of my runes. I've got mind runes after that, but I feel like that will be very slow, but I did spend pretty much all my money on runes before starting recording, so I would have to go and make some more, which probably won't be too bad. I mean, if we alk a couple of rune drops from lava dragons, if we get lucky then, like, if we get an extra rune full helm, that's just an alk. There's rune kites, if we get two of those, I'll, I'll basically alk anything that I've already got one of. I can alk this. Although I'm saying alk, but we don't even have alk yet. That is 55 magic, so it's a good job I'm here training. Oh, I should have bought some nature runes and some war runes while I was there. Oh no, wait, I didn't have any money to do what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm broke. Should I be going back after this trip anyway? That guy's a bot. Question is, does the bot kill me if I attack the bot? Also, do the bots have a way to detect you looking them up? Because I swear, every time I look one up, it disappears. They must have some way to detect it, right? Is there a plugin that says when someone looks you up? The only reason I'm inspecting people to try and figure out if the bots is because if they are, I need to kill a player in the wilderness for one of my tasks. So if I just happen to run into one that I'm like, okay, this guy's not actually going to react because he's a bot, then it's to my advantage to take it. But I don't just want to attack some random guy because I'm not a bad person. It's a weird balance. Is that guy still here? No, oh, he hopped away. Hey. 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 Bro. Okay, this guy's a bot. Do I attack him though? Because he's a much higher level than me. He'll probably clap me. Yeah, fuck you, man. Look, it's come to steal my dragon. Okay, now I'm panicking because I'm in the middle of the wilderness with a skull on me. So I'm just going to run south until I think I'm safe. 
You know what? I'm gonna walk south until I think I'm safe. I need to get to level 20 wilderness to be able to teleport out with my ring of dueling. Till then it's hovering the hop keys. Unless I see someone else that's clearly a bot, but I don't have any run energy, so... All buttons. Not exactly gonna be able to chase anyone very far. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait out this skull timer, and unfortunately I'm not sure how long it is. I don't have the little thing that I thought it should, how long your skull was gonna last. 30 minutes? If I die in a LMS it resets. I think I'm just gonna use it as an excuse for a split break. But, I'm set up to catch some motherfucking bots. <laughs> I've got my, my entire supply of death runes, plus 10 bind casts. Is it bind off snare? Whichever one I've just unlocked. I've got 10 whole casts. For some reason I brought twice as many earth runes, but who cares? This is my highest level offensive spell, water blast, so. May as well bring the death runes in case we do get on someone and we have them pinned down and we're trying to secure it because I don't have a ranged weapon to switch to. Can you imagine if we killed a bot for like a mystic steam staff? That'd be such a huge, huge thing to have on the account. Because that's the thing, folks. While I'm playing Iron Man rules, the whole reason I'm not an actual Iron Man is so I can kill people and take the stuff. Specifically bots. Because fuck ruining other people's days. You'll see me doing a lot of look-ups when I'm in the wilderness on this series. I'm trying to figure out if a player is legitimate or not. Woody has shown time and time again that he is a man of the community. He will clean out the thieves for you if you need him to. He will take care of the local bandit problem. Most importantly, he will kill any bot that tries to steal a lava dragon from him, or at least chase them down until he runs out of energy and they hop away. Facts. The skull's fallen off, time to go kill some lava drugs. Out. I just hopped into this world in the random spot because I saw a PK with four keys. I swear to god if this guy attacks mine. Uh, I feel like that could be a real player. He's not answering me. As soon as I finish this kill, I'm on that guy. If that snare hit, he might get fucked by the dragon as well. No, it's not on him! I think that hit. Yes! We might have a kill here, folks. Oh, fuck. Aww. Hey, I was only hunting a bot. I got the kill! But I'm dead. More than likely. Please. Oh, he just smired me. I only killed him because I thought he was a bot. I thought bot. Well, that was a bit disappointing. Also kind of served me right. I did PK a glory, which I obviously lost along with all my stuff. But I did kill another player in the wilderness. So technically, I have completed my first task in the wilderness to kill another player. <laughs> yes, I died right after, but I got the kill. I wonder if... I don't know if I'd be able to get back there quick enough. Maybe there'd still be something on the floor? It's worth checking, right? I'm not taking anything with me. 
Because I'm not sure if that was the same guy on a different account. Because if it was, and it wasn't a bot, then I feel bad. But if that was just a random, then there might still be some things on the floor. I don't I don't think they'll last long though, will they, in the wilderness? Probably not. Maybe there's even some of my stuff there. I don't have a knife, so it's going to have to be a sword or something. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm doing this. There's not going to be anything there by the time I get there, but I don't have any teleport to get out either. That was a bit silly. It's mage bank or die. Oh my gosh, there is something there. <gasps> Please don't run out on me. Oh! Anything where my corpse was? Guy probably got a key off me, didn't he? Okay, I have to make it out still. It was stamina. Well, now I only have one nurse, but I got a glory all. I actually peek in a glory. Oh. I mean, this is probably the lamest shit ever to an actual PK, but to me, who doesn't like harming innocent civilians, this is... This is, I don't know, gratifying to clean up a bot. I'm fairly certain that guy was a bot and the other guy that caught me was just a random because he would have, like, if he wasn't a random, he would have picked up the stuff to get back to the other guy. If it was, like, one of his alt accounts, he would have picked up the glory and shit to give to the other account, I assume. So I think it was just a, an actual PK caught me while I was killing the bot. But we've just got ourselves a huge, huge next level upgrade. Oh my gosh. I don't think we can recharge it. Yeah, you have to do Hero's Quest, which we can't do. Well, folks, I think that should definitely be it for this episode. We finally finished Miscellanea. We did a shit ton of LMS, got a rune pouch, some supplies, and finally, we PK'd ourselves a glory from a disgusting bot at Lava Dragons. I do still need to get the rune axe, but I'm not going to worry about that for now, because i got plenty of footage to go with, and I can't move to go back to Lava Dragons. I'm a bit tense after that whole last situation so i'm just gonna chill but yeah i feel like we've done shit on this, this episode hopefully next episode has just as much going on in it we also killed a crazy archaeologist first kill count of that towards our fedora sort of making progress in all regards other than we didn't start mage arena and we haven't made any progress towards Laren's chest and Slayer, which is something I want to do. I only came to do this because I wanted that rune axe that I never actually got. Don't really have any money to buy runes here, though. I don't have any way to make money while I'm at this bank. I have high elk. I can afford one law rune. <laughs> I think I'll leave it. Probably be okay. If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you are enjoying and we can grow this channel even further. And subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content. I have a huge back catalogue by now and I'm only adding to it more as we go, so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button. Look after yourselves, be lovely to each other. I'll see you on the next one.